So obviously we know each other and from having your teeth whitened, which mm. are looking pretty amazing in they the are moment. Looking, they're gleaming. <laughs> I hope you got some compliments. Yeah, no, people have said they look really good today, nice and white. Good, good. So obviously um, you've just come off the villa from Winter Love Island. How was the experience for you and would you do it again? Mm, what a question. Um, I think it was good. It was a great experience and you know, I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed getting to know everyone, going through the whole process. Um, I don't think I'd do it again, only because I feel like I had my experience and I wouldn't want anything to tarnish that. Um, even though I didn't have a super long time in there, the time that I had in there, it still felt like, it felt like weeks, you know? So yeah, it was, it was amazing. It's so surreal. It's hard to explain kind of the actual that experience until you're actually in there and I don't feel like everyone says that when they come out but it genuinely is like you're in such a bubble and yeah it was good it would have been nice to have uh, you know found someone but hey that's you know you're not going to always find someone are you and did you enjoy the experience and do you think you made some you know friends and stuff that you know you definitely keep for the long term yeah time? definitely I think what really helped me get through the kind of procedure and the time that I had in there was definitely the guys. Like, we spend so much time with each other. Mm -hmm. I don't think it comes across on TV how much you spend time with, like, the boys. Mm. Um, but we spend hours and hours, to the, like, each day together. So you really do close, like, get a close bond, and you get that really quite quickly. You know, when you're living with someone and you're eating with them and yeah. you're doing yeah. everything you do in the day with them, you do really form quick bonds, you mm. know, and yeah, definitely some of the boys, when they come out, I'm, I'm seeing them, definitely. Yeah, um, yeah. I noticed that, like, obviously, if you live with a flatmate, you become closer, mm. or if you go on holiday with someone, you're spending that concentrated period of time, you yeah. really get to know them very quickly, you know, um, so yeah. It's literally like going on holiday with someone times 10. Like, <laughs> you are thrown in the deep end with people that you don't know. And I went in, I didn't know any of the guys and they all knew each other. So I did feel like I had a bit of a disadvantage, but I, I feel like I just fit right in so quickly. And what about having the cameras around? Are you able to switch off or do you always feel them there? So I didn't really play up to the cameras. Mm. I just was myself. And Which is good. I forgot they were even there after like- You didn't have a game plan. Day. I didn't have a game plan. <laughs> I feel like some people in there really have a game plan, mm. but I just went in and winged it. I just went for a good time. And, you know, even though they didn't show much of my personality on TV, um, you know, I, I was always doing stuff that were just making people laugh and, you know, trying to make my experience the best I could, so. And there was something between you and Olivia that... Um... There was, there was at the start. I think I quickly realized that Liv just wasn't for me. Yeah. Um, Better you realise it quickly. Yeah, <laughs> and I think it started, I'm kind of glad from what I've seen lately on TV, I'm kind of like, yeah, I might have dodged a bullet a bit there. <laughs> but yeah, it was nice. It was, good to, it was good to get to know her and the other girls. But most of them I just did see on a friend level. I yeah. just didn't have that kind of real spark with any of them. Yeah. Um, you know, Tanyelle, I really only had a little bit of time to get to know and that was probably the only one that could have maybe blossomed, but yeah, at the end of the day, you're thrown in a villa with, I think, is it seven girls or eight girls? So you're not always going to necessarily find your perfect match, are you? No. And I think even though um, you see things on TV, but that might not actually be someone's real personality. There's mm. more to them than that. Definitely. Know? And people might make, you know, the show might make it out for people to be, you know, a hero or a villain, but it's, it's more complex than that. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. definitely do that. You know, even seeing clips back, I think, oh, it, it from my eyes, being actually in the situation, it didn't come across like that. Mm. But on TV, it looks so differently. Yeah. Um, especially when you, like, cut different stuff in and out, it can make certain people look like they're the ones in the wrong or not. Um, 
But I suppose it's a TV show, so it's got to be exciting somehow. 100%. And obviously, the other thing everyone wants to know is about Maya Jama, of course. Maya Jama. Is she as nice as they say? She and is. As beautiful? Yeah, I mean, she strutted in, and I think I think you actually see it on the episode. <laughs> My jaw just drops, and I'm just looking over like, what's going on? Because like, I think we, we were chatting about something so uh, it was just ridiculous, just something, I don't know, random. And then the door like swings open. And yeah, she just kind of storms through. Like I can't remember what the dress she was wearing was like a red, like it looked like stone or something, something incredible. And it was just like wow, out of, the, like, out of this world. <laughs> yeah. So my jammy, yeah, she's wicked. Um, she's just as good as they say. Yeah, and I think she still manages to be down to earth and connect with people. Mm. Do you know? Yeah, what she I seems mean? to really connect with the audience this year. Like, yeah, she seems to really have connected with everyone I think yeah like the people on the show the audience people who are watching it you know they want to feel like they've got someone that's kind of with them I suppose yeah, yeah and yeah. I feel like she does that you know she yeah. feels like she's watching it with you yeah yeah, yeah. Um, so she's done really well this year she's definitely done something good for the show yeah yeah well I love um, also the voiceovers for me and obviously mm. and I know Laura Whitmore and she she's amazing as well but I think it's good that they also wanted to change you know mm. it? yeah it's good to change it up every now and then you know get some just some fresh kind of eyes and just I think she's done that like she's got a bit of something different about her which Love Island hadn't really had beforehand and I think the winter one just cheers people up mm. in the you know it's cold weather here in England yeah and, just seeing sunshine and friendships and romance, it just yeah. like, puts everyone in a good mood. Yeah, but then everyone loves it crumbling down, don't they? <laughs> That's the exciting part. That's the when, press. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I, I think so. Like, when, when they approached me about it, I was like, oh, it sounds exciting because what else am I doing in winter? I'm mm -hmm. just going to be sat around mm -hmm. looking outside at the grey weather. So for me, it was a bit of a no-brainer, to be honest. Um, I was thinking about the press, I think they also like to create like clickbaity moments, so they're like anything that they can get like a story yeah. for and then obviously more people are going to watch it, more people are interested and mm. so they want those, they want those kind of drama moments, yeah. you know, they want to create drama. And people might all be chilled together but that's not exactly what the they The press want. is so naughty, like I've seen it first hand, exactly. how they have just, they create stories. Like, I posted this Instagram story up, uh, like, the other week, and it was just talking about my Love Island, Love Island experience, and people had sent some questions in, and I replied to one of them, like, oh, I wish they showed a bit more of my personality, as, you know, I, I did loads of things that I thought, you know, oh, that would be funny, yeah, yeah. but none of it was ever shown, mm. which, you know, I get, they've only got 45 minutes, and we're up all day. And then I read on the Sun because I realised like, a few days later that they put our oh, Spencer Hawks slamming producers <laughs> and this and the other. I was like, I'm not slamming the producers. I think they're, I think they're great. I just wish they'd showed a bit more of me. But obviously, everyone's going to say that, aren't they? Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Well, um, you know, having met you, like obviously you're a genuinely nice person and mm. have a great personality, but not always everything can come across on television. Yeah, definitely. You know I mean, there's only what it's like 45 minutes with ads, mm. so. You know, you can't expect them to fit everything in because a lot happens in that day. Mm. You know, for everyone, like if you think there's 16 of us, we are always doing something silly. We're always doing something, chatting about something. So, you know, they have to cut things out. Yeah, but yeah. that's why they have extra bits, don't they? Or unseen of bits. Course, you know, of course. Yeah, that's the juicy everything. bits go on there. <laughs> Well, it also, like like you said, like you guys have those strong bonds and friendships and things, and they probably don't have time to show that. And mm. in a way, they want it to seem more like rivalry when yeah. you guys might all be friends. You know? Yeah, I think everyone this year is very close, yeah. boys-wise. There was a divide slightly with the whole Ron situation. Mm. And I think it was kind of worse when you were in there mm -hmm. rather than what they show on TV. Mm. But... That's it, really. Other than that, like we were very close boys, mm -hmm. like about everything and anything, um, because, like I said, we spend so much time together. You, you've got to get on, and you've got to. If there is any problem, you've got to just squash it as soon as you can. The girls, on the other hand, they were uh, 
Well, that's what I was going to ask you. What were the other girls like? And obviously, apart from Olivia, what other ones did you girls did you get to know? Did you? I got you know? to know all the girls. No. Like I spent a lot of time getting to know all the girls. Um, the only one was probably Tanya that I didn't really get to know properly, mm. but we were really close, anyways, just mm. as as friendship. Um, but I got to know all the girls. And Lana was probably the one I was closest to, I'd say. Mm-hmm. Um, we spoke all the time. We were mm. in the pool. We were talking about the most random things, mm. um, which for me is really nice. I like just talking about the random stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like the weird, I don't know, stuff about aliens or animals or whatever. Yeah, for yeah, me, yeah. that's great. <laughs> so it was strange to come out and find that they didn't show any of that. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And then Danielle, obviously, we got close towards the end of my time. Mm. Um, well, other than that, I was close with all the girls. Yeah, even that's another thing, is that sometimes, like, the boys and girls might make friendships rather than something romantic, mm. but maybe that's not a story. Do you know what I it's mean? It's not a so. good story, is it, when you're friends. <laughs> exactly. <making> friendships. <laughs> and for me, I was just, there wasn't really anyone in there that I felt really, really connected to on that level. Like, I was happy to be really good friends with all the girls, like... I've got friends that are girls at home and for me it's, I'd look after all of them mm. and like, I went in with Ellie and we were good friends and mm. we always had each other's back mm. um, and I always said to her, I was like, if you need anything, just let me know, mm. like we came in together, I'll, I'll look after you mm. um, and even like making coffees for the girls, if, if someone didn't have a coffee, I'd make them that in the morning. That's nice. Um, <laughs> so like Sammy and Tanya didn't have coffee one morning, so I was like, I'll make you one. Mm. Um, but yeah, I tried to be as best I could be really in there. Yeah, yeah. And make sure everyone was okay. I feel like I wanted to make sure everyone was all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it sounds like it was a good experience overall. Mm. Yeah, it definitely was. Like, it's, if you ever want to do it, just apply. Because, <laughs> you know, they do accept people. Like, I know Kai and Shaq, they were, they applied. So, yeah, I don't yeah. actually know how many girls applied, but. I think it's just, you know, they're putting all these people together and you just never know who might mm. hit it off. And, yeah. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, and sometimes people are going to get a spark and sometimes it's not. Or sometimes mm. it will start the spark and then it will yeah. go in some other direction. So. Well, that's, we're seeing it happen. I think because it is so tense, stuff does happen and it mm. happens quickly. Mm. Like mm. some nights I'd get ready and we'd all get ready and I'd be thinking, I don't think anything's going to happen tonight. Like everyone's quite happy. Yeah. We're all chilled and chill. <laughs> and then still two hours later, something <laughs> happens. It's going off. And it's like, <laughs> how has this happened? Like I, as much as I love the drama, mm. I'm not one to try and like cause arguments or like, I'll and say my point and I'll say my opinion, but I'm not going to argue about it. I'm just going to tell you that. And did they give you alcohol? It's like a little bit. A little bit. No, um, a lot. <laughs> I don't really drink. So okay. So at least you can. To me, it be, didn't matter. Yeah, at least you can, you know, be the sober one. But I don't think anyone was getting drunk off of one drink. Mm-mm. So, mm. and I, me and Tom did request some spirits, but they never, uh, they never I, got back to us with them. I think the other thing is being in the sunshine and being all together for such a long time. You're kind of like, you know all together in one yeah. thing so you know sometimes later at night you know the personalities can come out just tensions are high you know exactly. and when people are tired when yeah, people are exactly. a bit hungry exactly and there's something that's just a little chip on their shoulder <laughs> that they want to get off their chest and they've had one drink and they think you know what <laughs> now i'm, I'm gonna, gonna say it. it yeah <laughs> so it definitely does cause arguments just the whole evening setup of you get ready, you've been waiting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, someone is going to say or do something that's going to cause an argument. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's the greatness of the show is it just, it is like a social experiment. You put a bunch of people in the house together in the sun and go just, right, go live together with people you've never met before and see what happens. And it just does cause such emotion, like emotions are so high in there. Like I cried a little bit when I left, oh. which I didn't think I was going to do. It was just, I remember being stood there and I didn't even mind because I told myself I was going to go. Um, like I told myself that they're going to have to save Kai because mm-hmm. even though I felt like I was close to all the girls, mm. I felt like I was one of the girls. I was like, they've got to pick Kai because he's been there longer. Mm-hmm. So for me, I'd kind of done that, but it was just because I, when I stood there and, 
we found out it was me, Kai just turned around straight away and like threw his arms around me and was like, oh. mate, I love you so much. Oh, like wow. this, that and the other. And I was like, oh. And that was genuine. And that was like, that was when I was like, oh. You can really feel Now it. I can feel a tear. Yeah, Cause yeah. the emotions are so high and you're so close to these people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. So you guys yeah. are definitely going to be friends. Oh yeah, definitely. I, I, I would love to, Kai and Tom, I'd definitely love to see when they're out. I've, I've spoke to Kai's mum to be fair. Oh nice. Um, she seems great. I think she was a bit, not worried, but she was a bit upset one day because mm. she saw something about Kai or the whole Kai and Livia situation. And I was like, look, I know he's having a great time. That's good. You know, because on TV, I don't think you do know. Sometimes it does look like someone's sad or really upset about something, but they could have only been upset for five minutes, definitely. you know, and then it's back to fun. But So you definitely don't regret it? No. Amazing. Definitely not. I think it's an experience that you have to take. If you ever, if you ever can, yeah, you, get you the might chance. go on it. Who knows? <laughs> you might go on it. Then you've got to, like, you've got to seize the opportunity. Yeah, it's an opportunity that you're never going to ever get again. Mm -hmm. You'll never be able to say that you've done it. I don't know how many people have actually done it mm -hmm. since it's gone around, but mm -hmm. but considering how many people apply, you know. Yeah. So to, to be on it, it's a great. Yeah. If anyone wants to go on, I think just apply. Just Good. send your just send your application in because. I'm telling you now, Shaq and Kai did not think they were going to get on it exactly. when they applied. Give it a chance. They were like, let's just do it. Exactly. And, you know, they're on TV now. And there they are. They're living their high life. <laughs> living their best life. <laughs>